Hi, I'm Sarah, and today I'm going to show you how to use MoCo Color Resources with Material 3. So to get started, I'm here in my KMM project, and let's go to the main build.gradle file. And notice here, I'm not using the build script class path pattern. Instead, you can go ahead and add the ID directly into your plugins, just call dev.icerock.mobile.multiplatformresources. Now, let's go into common main. So I'll go into my shared module and we'll go into that build.gradle and we'll scroll up here. Then in your plugins, go ahead and apply that plugin. So we want to apply the Ice Rock multi-platform resources. Now in your CocoaPods block, make sure to export Moco resources and Moco graphics. In source sets, common main, also be sure to add the Moco resources dependency. And finally, to get this working, there's just one more thing we need to add in our common build.gradle file. So we'll scroll down and you want to make sure to add a multi-platform resources block and you want to add your resources package and your resource class name, which in my case is shared res. Next, you need to add a colors.xml resource file. So again, I'll go into my shared module. I'll go into source and I'll go into common main resources colors. And here's my colors.xml file. I've made sure to add my color name, a light color, and a dark color for each of the colors that I'd like to apply to my material theme. With our common module dependencies in place, now it's time to head over to the Android app. So I'll go into my Android app and go into the build.gradle. And here, I want to remove the existing material dependency that's added when I create my KMM project. And then I want to add the material three dependency and I also added Material 3 window size class, which is great for adaptive layouts. Now it's time to work on the app theme. So I'll go into my Android app and go into Source. And let's go into my theme and my app theme file. And in order to make Material theme work, it needs to have a color scheme, typography, shapes, and content. Let's start with colors first. So if you're really in a hurry, then you can just use the light color scheme function. And when you pass in your colors, you're going to want to use color resource, and then you're going to pass in shared resource dot colors dot primary dot resource ID. And this is going to pull from the colors dot XML file that we created in our shared module. And we don't need to worry about having a is light or is dark variable because Android's going to handle that for us. And we can see that by going into our primary color, so this is our shared MoCo resource file. And if we look at primary, we can see that we have a light colors.xml and then we have values night colors.xml. So this is going to automatically pull our light or dark colors. And we don't really need to worry about that from our theme. But if you want something more robust, then we can just comment this out. And we can create a function that's exactly like the light color scheme. So what I've done here is created this MoCo color scheme, and it's basically ident an identical copy of the light color scheme, only this time when I'm passing in my colors, they're defaulting to the MoCo color resource. So I've got my color resource and I have my primary color, and again, I'm just passing in the resource ID. So now with this function in place, I can easily go back to my app theme, and I can just set my colors value from this new function and have a named resource value for my MoCo color scheme. And now here I've set up my topography and I've set up my shapes and then I can pass them all into my material theme. Now at this point, because we removed an existing material dependency, you're probably gonna run into some build issues. So let's go into main activity. And what you wanna do is basically remove all of the imports to the existing material dependency. And then you wanna add the imports for material three. And once that's in place, I can use my app theme wrapper, just like I would for a normal Material 3 project. And then inside my composables, I can continue to use Material 3 components and color schemes and typography, just as I would like normal. Only this time, it's gonna pull from my MoCo color resources instead of the default light and dark color schemes that come with Material 3. And that's all you need to do to use MoCo color resources with Material 3. Thanks for watching.